It is a new year and the holidays are behind us, but if you need something to look forward to, we've got you covered. The 2024 Have Life Martini Shake Off is just a few weeks away. And here to preview this fun annual event is Have Life President and CEO Kim Guy, along with Austin Chandler, who is the Food and Beverage Director for Hotel Blackhawk. Thank you both so much for being here today. Thank you for having us. We're so super excited. Yes, this is a really fun event. Uh, we talk about it every year. Every year you guys come up with a new cool theme. So we're going to get into that in just a minute. Uh, but Kim, we want to quickly talk about Have Life, which is the the reason honestly why we're all here and, and right. doing these events. So tell us a little bit more about the mission of Have Life. Yes, the mission of Have Life is to prevent lost potential in youth ages 10 to 15. And we do that by helping provide participation scholarships for music, art, and sports. Those middle school ages, a lot of opportunities come up for kids and they sometimes don't have the funding to participate or get the opportunity to learn an instrument or go to a sports camp. And so our board and our mission behind everything is to work hard to give those kids the opportunity so that they can really get in front of the get in front of what's ahead of them and try to help develop them as uh, young adults. Yeah, kind of um, take that concern away that maybe parents might be feeling with their kids not being able to get involved in some of these really great things. Absolutely. You've been able to help a lot of kids with that. Uh, the Martini Shake Off Benefiting Hab Life is uh, one of the most popular events in the Quad Cities. Uh, really helps you guys out as well. So tell us about what to expect at that event. So, um, if you've never been, it's it's a great event. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's at the River Center on the, in the Great Hall. We do it on the large side of the River Center. This year's theme is Mardi Gras, so yes. we're super excited about that. We have a live band. Um, it's Ten of Soul this year. There's a large silent auction, and we have 22 participating restaurants and bar venues that will be there shaking up martinis yeah. and uh, serving them to the public. All right. Well, Austin, uh, we know that Hotel Blackhawk will be um, one of the, I guess, bars that's going to be there trying to compete for votes. Um, so you actually are joining Kim today because uh, you're going to make a little cocktail for yeah. us. First, uh, as you get started, talk about what you're going to be making. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, you know, first of all, the Have Life uh, Martini Shake Off is something uh, wonderful us as a property. It gives us the opportunity to let our bartenders really flex that creativity yeah. for a wonderful purpose. You know, having said that, um, I am going to make a cinnamon martini with this wonderful maple blueberry foam. This drink was brought to me by one of our bartenders, Sam Shelley, which, um, you know, a very impressive cocktail. And, you know, it's just one of those opportunities. We really get to see how far these individuals have come. Yeah. You know, so I'm going to start off with our Wheatley Vodka, which will be the sponsor this year for the martini shake-off. Okay. Since I'm going to be making three, I'm going to go ahead and do four and a half ounces of this. He's making us three. Okay. <laughs> 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 so this is really cool and uh, Kim really while he's doing this yes. um, this is an opportunity for these establishments to really get creative it is and show people who visit uh, this event why they should potentially consider coming in and, and having a drink or something to eat with them yeah and so each venue has the opportunity to make four different types of vod or four different types of martinis yeah um, one's a fruit one's a dessert one is bartender's choice so that they can choose kind of you really using their own creativity right. yeah. and the other one is a classic and so guests that come can expect to have some tastings of those different types okay very and that's cool a lot of fun um so guests vote as you just heard kim say um, but so do judges yes so um talk a little bit about where that comes in the job of the judges because mm -hmm. i've gotten the opportunity to do it a couple of times now yes so um, our sponsors are typically our judges and we divide them into those four categories and they will get sample sizes from all of the venues, blind tasting, numbered, right. that they get delivered. We have something, kind of a big pipe and drape set up so you can't see where they're you coming see, from. No. no. <laughs> and then the judges get to taste and they're divided by the categories as well. And so mm -hmm. that's throughout the, that's early before the event yes. actually opens. And so at the end of the event, they do announce the award winners of those four categories, plus what you said, the people's choice. People's choice, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, it is funny. Um, you know, hanging out with the judges the past couple of years, they definitely try and guess where they think that came from. So I always do the classic group, so it's yes. like dirty martinis and things like that, and they always go, well, this one kind of tastes like Steventon's, or this one kind of tastes like... So it is pretty, pretty funny Duck to see City what or, ultimately yeah. 
who it is mm -hmm. and what they came up with. Very, very cool. So obviously you guys are raising money. There is food at this event. Don't yes. worry. <laughs> there is there live is lots music. Of food. <laughs> As you mentioned, the silent auction is always incredible. Uh, at the end of the evening, the goal is of course raising money. Um, so talk a little bit more about where that funding ultimately goes and how it really does make an impact over all of these years. Yes. So, um, so just to give you a little bit of history, we raised and granted almost $1.4 million locally in the Quad City since mm -hmm. our inception. So that's really exciting. And what we do is we work with local schools and nonprofits that service youth and try to uh, disperse grants that way for them to individually impact these sure. children between the ages of 10 to 14, or 10 to 15. Yeah. And at Martini Shake Off, we will be announcing almost $75,000 worth of grants. That's so so all of the money raised that night does go to support that mission and gets back out there with the local community to help kids. You guys are an amazing organization with so many people that work so hard uh, to get that done. Austin, it looks like you <laughs> created something here. That's right. My phone didn't travel as well as I would have liked to, but <laughs> this is our cocktail right here. Uh, that's still incredible. There Thank you. you. So Welcome. it's a cinnamon, there's ginger, there's vanilla, there's oh, blueberries. Yes. That's correct. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. I'm so excited to try it. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be what you guys, is this going to be this one? This is going to be one of ours. Mm. This will be the dessert opportunity that we uh, we present to the judges um, for the Bix Bistro inside the Hotel Blackhawk. That's correct. Yes. Bix Bistro. Okay, so make sure you go there and you at least give this one a try. Very, very good, Austin. Thank you, you so yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so you can still purchase tickets to the Have Life Martini Shake Off. You want to visit, uh, visit quadcities.havelife.org slash events. It's going to be the first thing that pops up. And again, uh, you can purchase those tickets for a really, really fun event. As you you mentioned the day after Valentine's. Yes. So just make a week out of all the celebrating. Absolutely. All right, Kim and Austin, thank you so much for thank being you here. Thank you for having us.